Hello, in this podcast we will discuss about annual, trailing and rolling returns. But before that if you want to read full article about it then the link of the article is in description. Also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel Monus View. Firstly, let's understand annual return. The annual return of an investment product shows its performance for the calendar year. So you can check the consistency in the performance of an investment product if you check the annual returns year after year. And the best part is that the annual return calculation is a fairly simple process. You need to find the investment price at the end of the current calendar year and the previous calendar year. Next, subtract last year's price from the current year's price. Then divide the change in price by the last year's price. For example, price of a security A. At the start of the year is 100 and at the end of the year is 110 then annual return will be difference between start and end year price divided by price at the start year. So in this example annual return will be 10% per annuum. Now let's see annual return limitations. The annual return has some limitations as well. For instance, a fund could beat its benchmark for most years, yet, the fund could be underperforming during the overall period under observation. It happens because you are looking at multiple years of annual returns, and it is difficult to estimate net returns over a period. Simply put, multiple years of annual returns do not show the impact of compounding, so you do not get to see the return a fund has accumulated over the period. On the other hand, trailing return helps you measure the average annual return between two dates. So we use the compounding formula to calculate this return. For example, 6-month return of Security B is 5% per annuum then the trailing return will be 10% per annuum. Also limitation of trailing return is trailing returns measure performance for just one block of time and show a point-to-point -point return. Thus, the trailing return of a fund doesn't necessarily show the consistency or volatility of a fund whereas rolling return is calculated for a particular period on a continuous basis. Simply put, it is like calculating trailing returns on a daily basis. Let's understand with an example. Suppose we want to see the 5-year return of a fund over the 10-year period between 2010 to 2020. So, the rolling return would mean calculating the 5-year return on each day during this period. You will calculate the 5-year return as on the 1st of January 2010, the 2nd of January 2010 and so on till the 31st of December 2020. It will show you a spread of returns had you invested on any day during this period for a five-year period. One of the biggest advantages of rolling returns is that by looking at the range of returns, you can understand what kind of returns the fund has delivered for the period you are planning to invest in it. And in some way, you can understand the probability of earning such returns going forward. All three types of returns, annual, trailing, and rolling, stand out on different fronts, so they can be useful for different purposes. For instance, annual return and rolling return can be useful to gauge the volatility or consistency in a fund's performance. The trailing return may not show these aspects, but it is useful to show the compounding effect on returns. Now let's discuss what is bottom line for this podcast. To sum up, no single return should be your sole focus as an investor. Narrowly focusing on the rolling, trailing, or annual returns would mean you are losing sight of the big picture. Ultimately, you need to consider annual, trailing, and rolling returns to make prudent investment decisions. So, thank you guys for joining with us for this podcast. If you want to read full article about it then the link of the article is in description. Also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel Monist View. Over here Shubham from Monist View signing off.